Hey guys, what's up? So wanted to do a little video on my Avengers collection and most of my Avenger comic books are going to be Silver Age and um, at least the ones you know that I'm including here it might be a few Bronze Age at the end but um, you know, mostly 12 and 15 cent books. So kind of wanted to share my collection with you guys and um, Let's dip right into it. So we've got an Avengers number 27. The thing is, I don't think I have any key issues, sadly, but um, you know, maybe you guys know something that uh, I'll show you and then you can, you can tell me if uh, something's either a first appearance or something special happened. But you know, I really love the uh, classic Avengers comic books and I really love the way that the team is kind of uh, switched up a lot. You know, you get different team members constantly, and it's something that you know they're they're kind of starting to do in the movies. But you know, now you have Spider-Man in uh, Avengers, and you have uh, uh, Doctor Strange. I was going to say Doctor Fate, and and now uh, Captain Marvel or uh, Carol Danvers, right? Which was uh, Miss Marvel in the old comic book, so in the Silver Age. But uh, anyway, so this is basically what I have here. Here's another Avengers number 47, Magneto Walks the Earth. So you get, you know, you get to see some of the more classic artwork. Unfortunately, I don't have any, you know, like Jack Kirby Avenger um, comics. I would love to have that. That would be amazing, but I don't. So. I'll just share with you what I do have. But yeah, I mean, as a kid, I mean, this is, you know, basically what got me into into drawing and into artwork was comic books and just seeing this. Look at this cover. Mine is the power. So you have Quicksilver here with the Scarlet Witch in his arms, which I guess is his sister, right? And let's look at some of the artwork here. Who is this by? Who's doing the artwork on this one? John Busema. So great artwork. And uh, says Roy Thomas and John Busema. So I don't want to not mention Roy Thomas. So you know, just love love this. You know, this uh, '60s like fashion and stuff in the comic book. It's kind of kind of nutty. Uh, Austin Powers, you know, kind of retro feel to it, you know, although this came obviously way before Austin Powers, but you know, you, you can see what they were getting at in the Austin Powers movies by looking at some of these comic books. Now this is a really cool one. This is the Avengers versus the X-Men and, and this is kind of my favorite uh, X-Men costume lineup here when Angel had the uh, yellow and red costume and uh, Cyclops, you know, wore all the blue and you had uh, Marvel Girl with her green dress. Like, this is, I don't know, this is very 60s, you know, a go-go looking stuff. So let's see, this was uh, 1968 when this comic book came out. So I guess that was pretty much the fashion back then and, and these guys uh, you know that were drawing the comic books were basically just drawing fashion as it was happening right then and there. So that's pretty cool. You know who's who's even to say what fashion is nowadays in comic books. So when somebody's drawing a comic book now, you know what what's fashion, what's in fashion? Like nothing really distinctive, I don't think. Here we go, the Mighty Avengers, number 64. Like a death ray from the sky. Gene Collin artwork. So the artwork changes up a little bit here. And you have Goliath, which I believe was, uh, wasn't Goliath Hawkeye? So in the movie now, Hawkeye goes from Hawkeye to Ronin, and I guess he skips right over Goliath. But I guess if they have Ant-Man there and he's growing big in the movie, then 
you know, you don't really need Goliath as well. The, the Great Betrayal. And you can tell I liked Goliath because I have like several issues with Goliath um, as well as uh, Yellow Jacket in them. Iron Man. Thor. You know, look at this amazing artwork. So beautiful, man. Barry Smith. So, is that Barry Windsor Smith? Something like that? Or just Barry Smith? So, great artwork. Super beautiful. And just can't get enough of it. And then now back to Sal Busema, so. You can see that the, you know, the tone is kind of changed in the artwork. You know, a lot of bright colors and bright, uh, bright backgrounds, whereas before we had like uh, a lot of saturation in the backgrounds or dark backgrounds. Nice. Number 72, did you hear about the Scorpio? I think this one might be a crossover with uh, Daredevil and an Iron Man issue. But now you see that Marvel is on the cover here, uh, Captain Marvel. So I'm also a big Captain Marvel fan. So I picked up, you know, obviously several issues with Captain Marvel. And there he is, the, the original, well not the original because he was in the, the old uh, green uh, costume like in the movie, but you know, when he did change to the red and blue costume, then originally he had white hair. So that's 72. You know, I, I have a lot of holes in my collection, as you can see. Here's 74, and again, you have Goliath here in Yellow Jacket and Black Panther too, and Vision. Look at this, this is beautiful. The art, you know, even though, I think the last one was also Sal, um, you see that the artwork has changed up. You know, his panels are kind of more full with artwork and, and characters. So, a lot less negative space in the backgrounds. There's the Wasp. Also another one of my favorite characters. I hope that she's in this new Avengers uh, movie. That'd be great. And then you have, at last, they're back. Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch. Grab Quicksilver. He's the only one who can stop the world from blowing up. How do you catch the world's fastest man? Very dramatic. The crossover, crossover with um, um, the Avengers and the X-Men that we were looking at a little while ago. That's one of my favorite issues and one of my favorite uh, crossovers. I also have the issue that uh, appears in X-Men, or it's actually a couple of issues, so. But um, really love that, you know, Avenger, X-Men interaction in that particular um, storyline, so. All right, number 76, The Day the Earth Exploded. That's a great cover. It almost, the city in the background almost looks real. You know, I mean, you almost have like this 3D effect where you've got, you know, the cityscape in the background and then you have all the characters kind of floating around over it. Great job on the artwork. John Musama is really picking up his stride in his artwork here. It's really looking just really tight. Awesome, 76. 
Now we have for hire the Avengers. Of course, you see again, you know, all my favorite characters here. Seventy-seven. And then 79 here, so yeah, you know, I really need to fill in some gaps here. And I wouldn't mind having a, um, a Jack Kirby Avengers, or a Jack Kirby anything really, to be quite honest. So, I mean, I do have some Fantastic Four and, and some other uh, titles that are done by Jack Kirby, but um, yeah, I don't have any X-Men or any Avengers by Jack Kirby, so that's kind of sad. 79 maybe the next convention next convention i'm just going to go all out jack kirby crazy and uh get an x-men issue get a uh, an avengers issue and probably even like fighting american and the fly and and then call it a day and go home because i would have spent all my money at that point so number 82 avengers assemble guest starring daredevil You know, if you're thinking about collecting comic books, especially, you know, Silver Age and Golden Age comic books, like, you really can't go wrong. You know, you're really just getting into the, you know, the origins and foundations of, of comic books. And, and in, in order to know what's going on in these movies that you're watching, these, you know, blockbuster Marvel movies that are just coming out, like, every, you know, few months, like... You know, you, you should probably just get right into the Silver Age and Golden Age and see what's going on. So, this is cool too. I really like this cover. It's pretty off awesome where you have all the female characters like defeating the male char characters and said, All right, girls, that, uh, that finishes off these male chauvinistic pigs. That's pretty funny. From now on, it's the Valkyrie and her lady liberators. So, that's cool. Wow, what a great splash cover, or, uh, interior here. Double spread, beautiful. Is this still John Buscema? Uh, let's see, it is. Am I saying his name, his last name right? But this is all the good stuff, like, this is all the stuff I love. I mean, I don't I don't remember the last time I bought like a modern issue of the Avengers. It's probably been a, a while. Um, let's see. I know I did buy Civil War. That's for sure. But that was a while back. So that was probably the last of it was Civil Civil War. The Avengers. The only good alien is a dead alien. That's kind of a scary. Uh, caption there co-starring Captain Marvel the man without a world so of course like I told you I really like Captain Marvel so I bought you know several issues that had uh, Captain Marvel appear in them now I just love the the classic look of Captain Marvel because he you know he looks like a guy from you know another planet or you know he has that kind of Buck Rogers, Flash Gordon kind of feel to him back then. I think later on, you know, once they they kind of uh, illustrate blonde hair on him, he looks very like I don't know, like like seventies, like disco-y guy. So I think once he he gets into like further into his own series he looks kind of disco-y yeah which isn't a bad thing I mean disco was cool too so but this is the uh, Captain Marvel that I like so that's number 90 
Here's 91. So we have, what is the, uh, what's going on in this one? The sentry is programmed to destroy you and destroy you all. And then it looks like Goliath is, you know, pretty much has, uh, or the sentry, or Ronin has control of Goliath as well. It says, and the ones you don't kill, Tin Man, Goliath will. So, looks like he's been brainwashed or something. You can see Captain Marvel here is, is um, not tied up, but fastened somehow to this uh, machine here. Some sort of torture device or something. Okay, looks like maybe the artwork changed up here. So let's see, who's doing the artwork here? Nope, still sell. Okay. Arnold. And that's 91. And here's 92. For all things must end. You have disgraced the name of the Avengers. Go then and be Avengers no more. So, Outcasts. So I believe this is a Neil Adams cover. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is a Neil Adams cover. And it says still 15 cents. So that's number issue 92. And I'm missing quite a few. So I jumped to 97 and then it goes to 20 cents. So I'm not sure when exactly that happened because you know here they're advertising still 15 cents I don't know if 93 is now 20 cents after that so who knows once I fill in all my gaps I guess I'll know <laughs> look at this cool oh my god look at this Steranko posters right here you can get these guys are a dollar a dollar fifty each that's amazing I would totally Ah, uh, why don't I have these? Love Jim Steranko. So you get one, two, three, four posters. It says giant three feet high. Can you imagine owning these posters for a dollar fifty? Oh. Why wasn't I making my parents buy me all of that stuff? So there you go, that's uh, issue 92. And we're almost done here. So issue 97, this is it. The fearful finale of the Scroll versus Kree War, Godhood's End. So you've got like a lot of Golden Age characters here. You've got, looks like the invaders up here. Is this the Flaming Skull? Is that what he was called? I don't remember. The Finn, I think this guy was the Finn. And uh, was this the original Vision, maybe? But let's see. Yeah, you've got some, oh, this is great. I love this. I love like the floating heads and stuff like that. And artwork kind of floating into, you know, the other artwork and stuff like that. I think that's really cool. That's fun really like you know the the whole like graphic style and layout of some of the comic books so it looks like rick jones has some something to do with um, bringing all of these golden age uh, heroes together wow what an awesome splash page right here it's amazing <laughs> i almost want to go through this whole comic book i'm so excited to see it Some scrolls here. If you guys saw the uh, Captain Marvel movie, it was pretty good. I was pretty impressed. I was surprised. I didn't really think I was gonna like it that much, and I just saw it too. Like, you know, I was on the fence of whether I would watch it or wait till you know you could just watch it at home. And we decided to go see it yesterday, and it was pretty solid actually. I was pretty impressed. So now we go to 25 cents here, issue 131. So I skipped from 97 to 131. That's a pretty big gap. So let's see. 
So you got Joe Staten and Sal Busama still uh, doing the artwork here. Wow, what a run, right? But you've got them both together, so you didn't have that before. A lot of ads. Okay, so this was the uh, the Legion of the Unliving. So really cool cover. I love that Frankenstein's on the cover. I think that's why I bought it. Like you have Frankenstein and you know the original Human Torch, which I really liked a lot. Um, you have Wonder Man. Um, I don't think this is his original costume, but maybe his second costume. So. And then last issue I'm sharing with you, and then this goes into, you know, kind of like the Bronze Age here. The Avengers Behold, the Guardians of the Galaxy. So this was kind of one of my favorite issues when I was a kid. And, you know, the issues where you get like, you get the team kind of going against, you know, some other team um, that have their own comic book. And in this case, it was the Guardians of the Galaxy versus the Avengers. And, you know, I couldn't resist that. So you have George Perez art here, so that's pretty cool. You know, George Perez is just amazing at, at drawing like hundreds of characters in one story art. So you know, he, he's, he's the man that you can basically take the reins and continue the Avengers. Oh, look at these. Oh, look at these toys here. So you got utility belt, uh, Spider-Man utility belt, and you have Spider-Man and his little spider buggy here. And I don't know what these are for. Maybe these are like um, t-shirts or something. And this really cool signed uh, picture of Red Sonja, or is it Sonja? Uh, right here. Or if you want, you know, Farrah Fer Fawcett or uh, um, I can't think of his name. John Travolta, yeah. I mean, it says John, but John Travolta. Couldn't remember his last name. So of course, you know, you just get all these characters just drawn together. Just amazing. There you go. What is this? And that's it guys. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. It's been fun. See you guys next time. Take it easy. Bye.